If you've ever started to learn Japanese or are thinking to start to learn Japanese, you may have run into something that I ran into. Intimidating facts. That tell you that learning Japanese is impossible. The good news is that a lot of the commonly believed facts about language acquisition are false. Multilingual people are normal people. The difference is that they didn't believe the lies. So to get you started on your Japanese language learning journey or get you back on the horse, let's uncover four of the most commonly believed myths about learning Japanese. Myth number one. Immersion in Japanese can only happen in Japan. False. Certainly living in Japan is the easiest way to be immersed in Japanese, but just because you live in Japan doesn't necessarily mean you'll learn the language. It takes hard work no matter where you are. So if you can't move to Japan, don't fret. Our fabulous internet age offers easy access to immersive listening practices. Check out Japanese YouTube channels, download Japanese podcasts, Japanese movies, TV, and music are available lots of places. Google it. Now, simply listening to Japanese without actually studying Japanese won't really get you anywhere. But conversely, studying Japanese daily without listening to it daily won't really get you anywhere either. They go hand in hand. Thankfully, the internet makes the listening side a piece of cake. Myth number two. You need alcohol to help you speak Japanese. Fall. Uh, actually, that one's kind of true. And kind of false. Let me explain. Drinking alcohol will unhinge your inhibitions and make you a little less nervous to practice your Japanese. A famous study by the University of Michigan shows that 1.5 drinks is the optimal amount for language practice. Any more and you get sloppy, any less and you're not loosened up. So alcohol can help, but you don't need it. Famous polyglot Benny Lewis has learned seven languages without a drop of alcohol. His secret? just doing it. Remember that courage isn't about a lack of fear, but doing something in spite of it. Myth number three, you must have a special talent or knack to learn Japanese. False. Many multilinguists, Japanese translators, and all around fluent Japanese speakers are self-proclaimed failures. The polyglot I just mentioned, Benny Lewis, links to his channel in the description, admittedly lived in Spain for six months without learning enough Spanish to ask for directions to the bathroom. Does that mean he didn't Use the bathroom for six months? Famed translator Matt Alt said in an interview with Tofugu, Believe me, I'm not the world's greatest student or linguist. If I can do it, any motivated person can. Zach Davison, professional translator of Kitaro and Showa, has said, People often ask me how long it took me to learn Japanese, and I always tell them I am still learning. It's a constant process where diligence and perseverance pay off more than talent or natural ability. The point is, you don't need a special brain to learn Japanese. Just persistence and the knowledge that failure is a step towards success. Myth number four. If you're too old, you can't learn Japanese. False, 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 and false. Everyone believes this one. Stop it! There has never been a single study that has conclusively proven that children are better language learners than adults. In fact, a recent study from the University of Haifa proved the opposite. Under controlled circumstances, adults are better language learners than children. Because adults have more fully developed brains, they can more easily grasp language concepts, grammar rules, and the like. So why aren't adults learning new languages left and right? Time. Kids have a lot more time to learn their language, make mistakes, get corrected, and try again. Really little kids spend years saying things like, I goad to the store, or I catch to the ball. Bottom line, children are very inefficient language learners. You are not. If you can consistently make time to learn Japanese and use that time efficiently, you'll outpace a baby in no time. So long, baby. So there you have it. You can learn Japanese. It's just a matter of staying on track and using your time wisely. The road will be difficult, but I'm right there with you. Thanks for watching. Are there any myths that I missed? If so, put them in the comments below. While you're here, why not check out some more tasty Tofugu videos? You can just click them any time right now. They're very good. If you can consistently make time to learn Japanese, you'll outpace a baby in no time. You'll leave a baby in the, in the dirt. <laughs> I'm not trying to, no.